Backpack. I need to give me all that kind of stuff. The only reason why I'm not wearing my, my sweatshirt is because of uh, the phone thing. Let's see if you have the grace of God. For the grace of God that brings salvation hath appeared to all men. The only thing that's bad about having it like this in my in my pocket, in my left pocket, is everything's off to the side and it's not facing where my mouth goes. Yeah. But it still does the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who has redeemed us from all Amen. God bless you. Where are you from? Uh, Sacramento. Originally Eastern Europe. Yeah, that's why that's why I asked. Yeah, like so, so you know the Lord, you raise your children up in the Lord. Amen. She just learned the Sunday school recently. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. Good father right there. There's a, there's a lie going around saying that, oh, that we're all sinners, we all sin every day, just believe in Jesus, and you'll have everlasting life. Well, that's a lie from the pit of hell, and that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that even the devil believes and trembles. But well, do you want to know, baby man, that faith without works is dead, being alone? Yes. We're not all sinners. Jesus Christ said, go and sin no more. Twice. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Twice. And the verse that people twist to say that we're all sinners is Romans chapter 3, verse 23. They say, all have sin and fall short. Well, newsflash, you're not saying that correctly. If we all have sin, does, easy, past tense, and come short of the glory of God. And in the context, the Apostle Paul was saying that there's no difference from a Jew and a Gentile because we all have sin, E.D. in the past. And he's showing you the need for Jesus Christ. You know? And, uh... A few verses, a few chapters later, it says, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. And some of your Bibles say, All have sinned and fall short. Well, in Jude verse 24, Jesus Christ can keep you from falling. Jesus Christ can keep you from falling. So if you're falling, say, We all sin and we all fall short. Then you don't have Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you don't have Jesus Christ. So you need to deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow Jesus Christ. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. When you die, you're not going to stand before Buddha. You're not going to stand before your dad. You're not going to stand before Hare Krishna. You're not going to stand before Muhammad. You're going to stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Yes, and if you die as a sinner, you're going to reap hellfire. God has no choice but to continue to make that burn. But you heard the gospel. You keep hearing it. And you just go on in your strong delusion. Because you believe a lie from Satan. And God has sent you a strong delusion. The Bible says that Second um, Thessalonians chapter 1 Those who trouble you rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on all them who know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who shall be punished with everlasting destruction by the presence of the Lord and by the glory of his power Yeah, so if you're not obeying the gospel you're going to reap everlasting destruction according to your creator and I'm just here to preach God's word because the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. How can they hear on whom they have not heard? How can they hear without a preacher? How can he preach unless he be sent? Oh, how beautiful the feet of those that preach the gospel of peace. I can't boast in myself. I boast in Jesus. I boast in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ while you still have breath in your lungs. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. You need to lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Where moth and rust do not destroy. Where thieves do not destroy. You're not laying up for yourself treasures on earth. Where moth and rust destroy. And where thieves break in and steal. What are you laying up for yourself? Are you laying up for yourself treasures in, on earth? Are you laying up for yourself all this kinds of money and stacking up your money? Are you laying up for yourself a, a piece of metal with four wheels? It's going to get burned up. We need to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Are you trying to... Buy the best car or buy the best clothing. Yes. But don't you know that moth and rust destroy these things? And thieves break in and steal it? 
Yeah, store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Because you want to know why? Because where your treasures are, that's where your heart is also. Yeah, is your heart in your marijuana smoke? Is your, is your heart in your clothing? Is your heart in, in your piece of metal with four wheels? Yes, where's your heart at? Come labor with us. Are you born again, my friend? What's that? Well, come labor with us if you're a born again saint. But if you're a sinner, you need to repent. Get right with God first. Yes. Amen. Yes, turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ. The only way to our <laughs> Father in heaven. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hey. Ooh, nice. Another one? Is this a gift? It is. Cool. Amen. It's that preacher. It's that preacher when you were asking about it. All right. Turn from your sins. Obey the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Fear God. Give Him... Give him glory. Jesus is holy. Jesus is holiness. Jesus is Lord. Fear him, love him, obey him. Live holy. Holiness or hell fire. No sin. Amen, brother. Man, you don't even know how much I enjoy this kind of stuff, man. Well, actually, you do know. Hey, Brother Mike. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. I made that today. Amen. Wow, that quick? <laughs> yeah. Well, a few hours, but... Really? Yeah. Hot off the like press. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. I'm not trying to be confrontational. Okay, where are you I'm like mess No, I'm not trying to be. You can be, but, <laughs> you but can't I don't want to be. Okay. I want to understand what message you're trying to send that people can receive, because I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so that is something that Jesus himself said. Okay, go and sin no more. Yeah. Okay. So there was a woman. Everybody knows the story about the adulterous woman. I right? don't know. I was not raised in the church. So okay. I don't. So there was a story of this lady who was brought in front of Jesus, and she was caught in the act of adultery. And all the men that brought her, they were of the Pharisee Jewish bloodline. I think that's right. And when they brought her, they were trying to they were trying to catch Jesus. And it, they, they wanted to make sure that people didn't follow them. They wanted people to follow themselves. So they were trying to make them sin? Yes. Okay. And so they brought this woman in front of him. You see, in the Old Testament law, the man and the woman should be punished. But they didn't bring the man. They only brought the woman. Okay. And so they came, and Jesus, when he heard their testimony about this adulterous woman, he looked and he says, let him who is without sin yeah, cast the first stone. I see him right now. Right? And so all the men they put their stones down and they walked away. Because they weren't without sin. That's right. Okay. And so then Jesus exactly. looked at the woman yeah. and he told her, oh, your, your sign fell down, Mike. And then... You hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So when you know, I got another hoodie and a few shirts coming for you too. I just need to print on it. But I wanted to get that done because I knew you wanted that. that a second. You know what? Yeah. Some guy came home with guy sleeping sleep on the bench. He was all, hey, I'll wear that shirt. The abortion one. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking about him being warm. And he's going to be advertising. So I peeled it off and I said, here you go, man. And then uh, I was I, I preached. I wasn't preaching. I just basically holding a sign in the Bible. But I was talking because I was recording. So I basically I was doing a ministry to the camp to this. Yeah. To the, just to, so there's not a bunch of quiet time. And I'm thinking to myself. And I'm talking out loud too. He says, you know what? I'm gonna go off and just guy 20 bucks for my for my sweatshirt back. So I see that he's coming, and I'm like, okay. And I and so now I got to introduce the dude, and I told him I gave him my jacket. Right, and I'm like, hey, buddy, I got a, a proposition for you. 
Would you like 20 bucks or keep the jacket? And he's all, I'll take the 20 bucks. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> so I went and got that $20 and give it to him. You know, and I minister to him and I give him my Bible. I had a Bible, he goes, I want a Bible. But I could tell him. He wasn't ready. I said, you got to dump that beer out. And uh, he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but, it, you know, it's like, if there's something like, you know, to them, it's like, what's that Bible verse for? To them, if they know it to be sin, then to them it is sin. I don't know if it would categorize this, but this guy is definitely like under a strong delusion of not not seeing it. I mean, it was almost like, a, like, he, like he was just... He needed to be set free for some demons. But still then. But I give him the Bible. It was one that I got, King James. You know, I'm like, here, you know, I need Mike's gonna order me a fuel, he said. So, you know, and I'm getting that for me to keep. I, I don't think I'm gonna be leaving Bibles up on my roof of my car anymore. I, I put it up there and I didn't think I was gonna forget it. And I did. The same way I did with a backpack with probably a couple thousand gospel tracks. But I didn't have the Bible in, in that one. I made that. I made that mistake. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, bro. <laughs> Once a man, God said, Behold, the fear of the Lord. That is so, there's actually a warning about this message because I made that one. I made that one. I made that one. I so, so I got Brother Nick um, ordering me a, a sign, and uh, I give Sean the money for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see it. Um, it's only 180. It's only 180 right now because I give that guy the 20, and I can only draw out uh, 200 bucks. So uh, I owe him a few dollars, whatever. I don't care how much. And yeah, and then. Uh, I've already lost track of my thoughts, so I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> oh yeah. So whatever shirts you make for me, jackets. Uh, so it's right there. Hold on. When I come down again to get the sign, um, I'll just um, I'll, I'll just pay you the whatever you need. Yeah, man. Heck, I got a hat in my car. I could probably give it to you. Yeah, I can make hats now. So. Yeah, I know. I wonder how that hat would look on my head. I'm very peculiar about the hats. They're too big. They look. They look. I don't like them where you pull them down and it goes like this, like the Carhartt hats. I bought two of them, for 50 bucks for two, and I didn't like them, so I gave them to my landlord. So here, man, I don't like them. They're nice hats. I used to be a filthy record man. I used to be a liar, a thief. I used to say oh, and eat a blasphemy. I used to be a drunkard. I used to be a drug seller. I used to be a drug user. Uh, yeah, I was, I was guilty. And I was on my way to a lake of fire if I would have died in that state. And I thought I was right with God because I went to a building called church. So I said, oh, I believe in Jesus, so so I'm okay. I would go to church on Sunday and give them money because the, the pastor would tickle my ear and say, smooth, great, telling word, and then they'll have three offerings and say that I'm okay as a sinner because I believe in God, so I have eternal life. Uh, then after church, Monday through Saturday, I would live like a child of the devil. I would lie, I would steal, I would smoke cigarettes, I would grow marijuana, I would sell marijuana, but, you know, even one lie would take me to hell, but, yeah, I was wicked, but, uh, I thought I was right with God, because I got dipped in water, and I thought, you know, once I said a sinner's prayer, Lord Jesus, I accept you into my heart, come into my heart, you know, God, that's not in the Bible, new flesh, that's not the Bible, but, uh, I thought I was saved, because I said a sinner's prayer, and I went to a building called church, so I thought I was right with God. I thought once I died, I was going to go to heaven. 
But uh, no, the wrath of God was still abiding on me. I still lived in fear. I still thought I was going to die. Uh, probably a horrific death, and I deserved it and go to hell. But it wasn't until a street preacher like myself told me the truth. And I actually seen it, it, it wasn't in person, it was a video online where he said that, you know, we're not all sinners. You know, the Bible doesn't call the believers sinners. You know, sinners are sinners, and the sinners get cast into a lake of fire. The sinners are the ones that go to hell. You know, I just thought, you know, we're all sinners, just believe in Jesus. But that's not what the Bible said. And this street preacher told me the truth. You know, I wasn't even looking for God. I wasn't even searching for a street preacher. You know, but it just kind of just showed up. Amen. And I just praise God for that because it really changed my life. And, uh, you know, the Bible says that all have sinned, easy, past sins, and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus said, go and sin no more twice. Jesus said that your sin leads to hellfire. He said if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. For it's better you to enter life vain than go to hellfire with both of your hands with both of your eyes so if you're looking at pornography you're not right with god and you're going to go to hell if you don't repent so if you're if you're drinking beer if you're, if you're drinking beer with your hands cut it off not literal but take drastic measures to get that sin out of your life because if you die like that you're going to go to hell and that's just what this street preacher told me you know he just told me the truth of god's word and i started opening i bought a, a, a new king james bible and i just started reading it it was may 2021 and i bought a new bible and i just started reading it and sure enough, I didn't hear these things. I didn't hear that sin leads to hell and that sinners go to hell fire. I never heard these things until I started actually reading my Bible. And that's where the strong delusion comes in because people, so-called Christians, they don't open the Bible. They don't read their Bible. They just believe what a so-called uh, Freemason of a pastor tells them on Sunday because they want their they want their money. So I started reading the Bible. I started reading the Bible and sure <laughs> enough that, uh, yeah, sinners go to hell fire. Yes. And then I saw the great love on the cross, what Jesus portrayed, I mean, his whole life. And then what he showed on the, on the cross by enduring to the end, he died from wicked individuals, religious hypocrites who did err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And that just broke me. It just broke me. And uh, I just started crying out to a holy God. And Amen. I just went inside my room and I just started crying that you know the Bible says that godly sorrow worketh repentance unto salvation not be not even to uh, be repented of but worldly sorrow worketh death so I just started crying out to God to to free me from my sin and set free from my sin freedom you know, I was lying and stealing and blasphemy having cuss words coming out of my mouth and just selling drugs to people I wasn't just destroying them I wasn't lying to them I was committing a crime against God that's what sin is. It's a crime against the one who created you. And God hates sin. God hates all workers of iniquity. God is angry with the wicked every day. So I just got on my face and I cried out to a holy God. I, I resisted it for, for quite some time, for a few months. But then it just hit me. And I just cried out to a holy God in repentance. And I just just asked the Lord to change me. A broken spirit. Yes, that you won't even get a sneeze in hellfire, mocker. Yes, God's going to laugh at your calamity and mock you when your fear coming. Yes, when your des desolation and destruction coming as a whirlwind. Yeah, when you get hit by a car, you're going to cry out to Jesus Christ then. God forbid. Right now is the time of One salvation. Way. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart to the Word of God. You may not have another five minutes. And sometimes, a lot of times, 99% of the time, that's how I preach. Like you individuals, like God brought you here to me right now, like because you're gonna, you might die in five minutes, but God forbid. But that's how I preach because it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Amen. You may not have another five minutes, you may not have Amen. tomorrow. Yeah, so today is the day of salvation. Right now is the time of salvation. I'll I tell got you what, on my face, Mike, I cried out to a holy God time, with a humble heart. A broken spirit and contrite I'll even heart give it to you before I leave. Eyes. God resists the proud but gives grace to the <laughs> humble. I, humble I like it better when you do the work. The Hello, I'd rather just Lord give you the next buck or two for doing it. put his spirit inside me. I was born again. I was born again with the spirit of God. And at that time, I hated sin and I loved righteousness because I had the spirit of God being born again. And I'm gonna stand steadfast in the faith. Amen. And Lord willing, I endure to the end. Lord willing, that God keeps me as I'm always abounding in the work of the Lord, being fruitful in every good work. And praise the living God, praise Jesus Christ. I've been crying aloud, sparing that, that lifting my voice good. like a trumpet. I'm gonna let a lot better than the way he's using. Uh, what he was using, the difference in the quality of sound of that. And, and it's actually, 
diminished quite a bit. Yeah. It's been kicked. It's been this and that. Grant, you want to preach? Any of you brothers want to preach? I, I can keep going. Oh, amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. I'll preach. Call ye upon him you. while he is near. If Grant don't want to preach, I'll preach. Let the wicked forsake their wicked way. You're going to get the word of God right now from my brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, my friends, you know, this is that time of year when everybody gets consumed in consumerism. <laughs> they get consumed in their own lusts. It's all a, a me generation. It's a, it's a me moment where everybody's thinking about what they can get. You got Black Friday. Notice how it's not light Friday, it's dark Friday. You know, it's this whole world that loves darkness. They, they hate the light and love the darkness. And so everything's pointing to a materialistic, selfish generation. We got these so-called holy days that they call holly days, holidays. No, they're not holy. These are self-exalting. These are selfish holy day, ho holidays that man has made to exalt him and himself and his family. My friends, I don't need a gift from man. I need the free gift of eternal life, which is Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That's what you need, the, the best gift of all. Amen. Teach your children who Jesus is. If you want to give them the best gift, guess what? It's not a PlayStation 5 because PlayStation 6 is coming out right after that. If you want the gift that lasts forever, give them the gift of eternal life. Amen. Be a good mom. Be a good dad. Train them up in the way that they should go. And when they become older, they will not depart from it. You see, my friends, the Bible says, brethren, brethren, beware. Be, be, don't be deceived. Lest there be in any of you a wicked heart of unbelief in the Son of God. All right, we got a voice. Got Don't worry about it. Yeah, hold this mic. You reprobate. You reprobate, man. Yeah, real quick, Mike. Huh? Hold that real quick. Oh yes. Amen. It's a shame because you need to hear the gospel. Judgment is of God, but the Bible says that the hypocrite will be cast asunder. Those that have no problem with judgment are those that have taken the log out of their eye. See, when God cleans you up, it's okay to judge. Oh, sorry. A righteous man judges all things, and yet he is judged by no man. Or woman. Uh, that's the problem with this world. They want to keep sinning. That's why they say don't judge. Look that's warm. truly the problem. When, when they say don't judge, what they're saying is let me sin in peace. Yep. See, we've taken the log out of our eye. We examined ourselves to make sure that we're in the faith. We're judging ourselves that we're not judged of God. We're, we're, we're walking according to the standards of Jesus. And many people don't understand. The Bible says wisdom crieth out. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She stands in the chief place of concourse. Oh, my friends, in the opening of the gates. You see where we're at right now? We're in the gates leading into Old Town. And the Bible says, how long will you simple ones love simplicity? To downtown. And scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate wisdom and knowledge. See, that's, that's the problem with this world. This world is wise in its own eyes. The wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. God chose the simple to confound the wise. He chose the weak to confound the strong, the mighty, those who trust in their own strength, those who trust in their back, in their muscles, in their biceps, in their, in their looks when they look in the mirror. See, they, they see something, but, you know, the Bible says man looks at the outside, but God looks at the heart. 
And my friends, your heart is wicked. Your heart is deceitful and wicked above all things. Who can know it? But the Lord. See, the Lord knows. The Lord trieth your heart. The Lord sees what you do in secret. And the Bible says everything done in secret will be displayed in the open. So you can mock, you can say, oh, look at these crazy street preachers. But then one day you're going to see that we warned you. God's going to reveal to you that we were actually here in love, warning you not to go to hell. See, hellfire, it's not uh, uh, for a moment. But the Bible says, though, all those that sleep in the dust, hey. some will resurrect to if eternal you life. That Bluetooth, well, and take some the to shame oh, no, and I everlasting just, contempt. Just just in case someone See, there's an eternal it, punishment it for sin. Um, if there's eternal life, there's yeah, also it's, eternal it's punishment. Back, He's okay. a just God. He's a holy well, God. Like I said, you know, everything about I'll take him either is one. justice. Yeah. But if you want to give me that one, that's cool. I appreciate uh, love, it. No, I'm going to get the one that goes to that. Because at the side of my brain, so I'm going to get the one that goes exactly to that. This is not a humble generation. I just bought that. This is not a humble people. This is a pride for the generation. They didn't have a cordless at that time. That's all they had. Man, this thing is tripping. You got a mic? Yes. It might be that I need to change. Hold this again, brother. Sorry. No, no. That's what I'm here for. The signs must stand. What's that? No matter what. Uh, Ruben's all, no matter what, you pick that sign back up. <laughs> Heard my name. But the blood of Jesus, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the blood that makes me white as snow. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Bible says Jesus is going to return. And the Bible says when he returns, that day will be like it was in the days of Noah, like it was in the days of Lot. And then you turn the other My one friends, up. God, um, he judged the, the days of Lot, he judged the days of Noah. No, I'll drop it. And he's going to judge my, at the end of days. I'll drop it. I'll put it in my back. Or you, can put it, or you can put it. The Bible I don't know says if it's he's going to make that's war on. and judge in righteousness. You just got to hold the button down and it turns off that. Things. That's He's coming right. for all those oh, that I did see. not obey him yeah, yeah, yeah. and did not know his gospel. Yes, my friends, you got to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is a commandment that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, and that his commandments are not grievous. And this is the love of God, that you keep his commandments. See, a lot of people say, oh, I love God. But the Bible says, this is the love of God, that you keep his commandments. In Ecclesiastes, it says, this is the duty of man, to fear God and keep his commandments. That's man's all. If you want to know what the purpose of life is, there it is. Fear God and keep his commandments. And the Bible says that his commandments are not grievous. But what is grievous is when you try to maintain a lie. When you try to, when you try to make a harlot love you. See, she's not going to love you. She's a harlot. And yes, my friends. The preaching will continue. You better repent. You better repent. The Bible says it'll be worse for Sacramento on that day because they didn't repent at the preaching. And yes, the, the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing, but unto those that are being saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. And yes, my friends, the Bible says that this word did not come in word only, but it came in power and in the Holy Ghost. 
not an unholy ghost, not an unholy spirit, but a holy spirit. And God gave you everything needed to, to follow him, to meet that righteous requirement through Jesus Christ. My friends, if we walk in the spirit, what spirit? The spirit of our living God. If we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So many people, they've been taught. So many people have been taught that we're all sinners and we all sin every day. But the Bible says he who sins is of the devil. So, so if we're sinning every day, if we're making a practice of sin, the Bible says you're none of him. If we walk in darkness, you're none of him. The Bible says if we say that we have fellowship with Jesus and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, even as he is in the light, then we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And whoever follows him will not walk in darkness. No, your eyes will be open. God will enlighten your eyes that you may see. See, in, 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 Jesus himself said that he came for a people saying that they see and don't see. For a people saying they hear and they don't hear. Why? Because of pride, my friends. Because they're looking through their physical eyes and not their spiritual mind. And the Bible says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Put this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, you can have the mind of Christ. How? Read his word. Learn of him. Learn from him. He says that he sent the Holy Spirit into the world to teach you all things. That's what the Spirit's here for. Not that you would walk in darkness. Not that you would stumble. The Bible says the just are as a shining light, shining more and more under the perfect day. But the wicked, they walk in darkness and know not at what they stumble. Oh, my friends, you're stumbling at your sin. You're stumbling because of your drunkenness. You're stumbling because of your lust. Because you don't know how to keep a woman, keep a man. Everybody's living in harlotry. They're not, they're not walking according to, to the spirit man. They're walking according to the flesh man. And the Bible says that the carnal mind is death, that it's enmity with God. See, your flesh, it's at war with your spirit. And the spirit man, the Bible says that the spiritual man judges all things. And yet he himself is judged by no man. Why is that? Because the spiritual man, he took the log out of his eye. He, he went to Jesus. He asked for forgiveness. And Jesus had mercy on him. And Jesus gave him the Holy Spirit that he would no longer walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the airs, by which we walk according to the flesh at one point in our lives. But oh, I thank God through the Lord Jesus Christ, who will deliver me from this wretched man, this body of death. Oh, I thank God through Jesus Christ I've been delivered. Jesus Christ set me free. Jesus Christ washed me clean. Jesus Christ set me apart. Amen. Oh, my friends, I don't have to be a part of this world. This world don't love you. This world hates you. The devil hates you. Uh, it's all idolatry. Everything about this world. You know, the holidays, it's family idolatry. And Jesus says, if you don't hate mother, brother, son, father, more, and then he means you got to love them less than you love him. If you don't love him more than you love your family, well, my friends, you're not worthy of the Render kingdom of heaven. Name, and it's Jesus you're not worthy Christ. of the kingdom of heaven. A lot of people... See, they read the Bible and they skip over these harder scriptures. They skip over the, the meat. They, they, they just want to hear that, oh, Jesus Christ, it says, whoever believes in him. But see, your belief is different from his belief. See, he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. And see, when you say you believe, it's a maybe. Oh, I believe. You know, it's like, oh, I believe in Harry Potter. No, Jesus said you got to believe on him, the son in which the father sent. And my friends, he came that you could be set free, that you don't have to be a sinner. You can become a saint. Oh, and the saints, the saints, it says they will judge. They, they, will, they will shine forth brighter than the sun that is returning. Amen. That's how it's going to go, my friends. But the wicked will gnash. The wicked will, will hear the, the, the worst words you will ever hear in all of eternity. Depart, Depart from me, me you, you worker, worker of iniquity. iniquity. I, I never, never knew, knew you. See, you don't understand how much how important that's going to be on the day of judgment. How important it's going to be that you knew him. Because the Bible says, he who knows the son knows life. 
but he who knows not the Son does not know him, and the wrath of God abides upon him. It actually says, he who obeys him. See, you got to obey Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the problem with this world. <laughs> Amen. They want their sin and oh, Jesus. Oh, man, I love but the word of God. But so. it's not so. love the word of God. So. Hallelujah. Well, my friends, turn to, turn to Jesus and live. Call Amen. Call the, the Lord and be saved. But it's not this, oh, Jesus, help me. When, when when all you want is to get get out of a, a, of a, a sticky situation so you can go right back into a sticky situation. No, the Bible says repent and be converted. That means you're different. That means you're not the same. That means there's change Preach in your it, life. Preach it, my brother. Preach it. That people will see your fruits and know you by it. You have the fruits of the Spirit. You no longer walk according to the flesh. You never no longer walk according to the lust of your flesh, the lust of your eyes, and the pride of your life. My friends, pride will be destroyed on that day. There will be no proud in front of God. God actually hates the proud look. God hates, hates it. the proud in heart. The Bible says that when pride enters into a man's heart, it's an abomination to God. Though the wicked join hand in hand, they shall not go unpunished. Oh, but my friends, if you, if you do what the Lord says, if you obey him, he says he'll make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Uh, so you don't know the peace of God. You don't know the peace. Why? Because you're wicked and the wicked have no peace, saith the Lord. So there's no peace in sin. There's no peace in wickedness. No, there's only there's only temporary relief from sin. Because the Bible says sin has pleasure for a season. But seasons come and go. And your life is going to come and go. But when you die, where will you spend eternity? And that's why we're here. To put eternity back into your heart. Yes. That you would stop suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. Yes, That you Lord. would stop loving your sin more than Look you love the word, one that created you. Void. Oh, we were created for what purpose? Glorify to only serve God. ourselves? That we would become a God to ourselves? Oh, no. No, my friends. The Bible says, little children, turn from your idols. Turn from your idols. Turn from self-worship. Turn from worshiping the false gods. Turn from your cigarette, drunkenness, all these things, the fornication, all these things that are separating you from a holy God. Holy. You know, it says this in Hebrews. Jesus Christ is our high priest, and he's separate from sinners. It actually says that. It says he's separate from sinners. And everybody thinks that they're in their sin, and somehow God hears their prayers. But the Bible says that the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous, but his face is against the wicked. He turns his face away. He doesn't hear their prayers. Why? Because you've hardened your own heart. You, you plugged your ears. You, you put your hands over your ears and you don't want to hear the preaching. But my friends, it says this, that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. See, because they got so wise that they didn't know God no more. But it says it pleased God through the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Do you believe? Does the, is the pre, are you able to hear the preaching? Is your heart being being pricked? Is it, you know, the word of God is sharp. It's able to separate soul and spirit, divide bone and marrow. It's, it, it's meant to divide you from your sin, to separate you from your sin, that you wouldn't fornicate, that you wouldn't do the sex outside of marriage, that you would do the right thing. You would marry that woman. You would put a ring on her finger and y'all would walk in holiness. And the Bible says that the marriage bed is undefiled. But this world says, oh, just... Just have a body count. You see how nasty the world is? You see how gross the world is? It, it, it just it wants to drink up every form of sin. It says that the foolish make a sport of sin. They make a sport out of sin. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Doing okay? Can I give you something? You can? Doing okay? All right. It's good to see you. Huh? Turn to Jesus while there's time. Heavenly Father, the Bible that young lady, says to redeem the uh, time free from her sins. for the days Answer her are questions evil. that she needs to be oh, answered. Friends, to we know turn the time. to you, Lord God. In oh, Jesus we know name. what time it is. We're not we're not walking uh, blind no more. God gave us sight, and we see the end from the beginning. The beginning from the end. God has shown us. He's taught us that He's coming soon. Oh, and the Bible says that in the last days there will be mockers and scoffers walking according to their own lusts. 
and they'll say, oh, since the days of our fathers, things have always gone on as they always have. Where is this one that you says coming? But the Bible says with the Lord, a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, but he is, he is kind, long suffering and patient to us word, not willing that any would perish but that every man and every woman would come to repentance. Yes, God desires that all be saved, but the Bible says he will not take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that they would turn and live. Yes, my friends, you gotta make that turn, that you turn away from your sin, turn to Jesus Christ in humble faith and say, Lord, I need help. And the Bible says he's my ever-present help in times of trouble. The Lord is my shield. He's my redeemer, my strong tower. The Bible says, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. It says, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of men gathered against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Smite the enemy upon their cheekbone and knock out the teeth of the ungodly. See, that's the God I know. That's the God I know. It, 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 the wicked, they're not going to be able to raise their arms. They're not going to be able to make a railing accusation with no tongue, no teeth, and no arms. Yes, my friends, we're here to tell you, get right with God while there's time. See, we, we all think we got another day, but what if your soul is required you. tonight? Where will you God go? Bless you. Heaven or hell? It's very important to be redeemed through Jesus. The Bible says redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. You must be forgiven from your sins. And if you think that, oh, your good works are gonna outweigh your bad deeds, oh no, my friends, might as well go be a Muslim. Might as well put that weight around your neck, those scales around your neck. But see, that's why the Bible says his yoke, you know, a yoke goes around your neck. And it says his yoke is easy and his burden is light. To follow him, to obey him, to be forgiven by him is so wonderful to have mercy, Amen. to have your name blotted Amen. out of Amen, all your brother. transgressions Amen. and put written in by his blood yes. into the book of Praise life. Praise the Lord for yes, Brother my Mike. friends, your Love name the word. can be written Love in it. the book of life. And the Bible says that the angels desired to look into these things, that the Gentiles could be saved, be reconciled through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's why we're here in the spirit of adoption, that we might call him Abba Father. Abba, Father. See, if you're adopted, you get to call him Abba. You get to call him Daddy. But my friends, right now, if you don't know Better him, your dad is the devil. Mike, your daddy is Satan. Yawning. Your daddy is not God. Just because he made you Grant. doesn't mean he's your dad. Grant. Matter of fact, the Bible says who you yield your members to obey, it is him who you serve. And so if you yield your members to obey you sin, fall asleep, the Bible yeah, says he who sins away, is man. of the devil. <laughs> And I'm it says, for this I'm reason, did Jesus come into the world to destroy the works of the devil? Amen. Not that we would continue in sin that grace I, may I'm abound. God forbid. So I See, that's the problem out, with like this world. Everybody there, thinks that they can they can make a mock at God by living in sin. But the Bible says God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he will reap. And so if we sow to our flesh, we're going to reap corruption. But if we sow to that spirit, man. We get in our Bibles, we humble ourselves, we read the word, we put our faith and trust in him. It says he'll never leave us or forsake us, but we leave him. We depart from him through sin, through, through disobedience. And the Bible says that the wrath of God abides upon the children of disobedience. Amen. But the mercy of God is to those that have put their trust in him, that they follow Amen. him. Are you a Christian, my this friend? Is word. Are you born again? All right. What's your name? Caleb, that's a good name. You know who Caleb is? Well, Caleb is in the book of Joshua and also coming out of the Torah when they went into the promised land. Uh, no, in the Old Testament. Yeah, Caleb, see, uh, Caleb was a mighty man. So here's a beautiful thing about Caleb. So when God was sending in the, 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 the people into the promised land, before they went in there, he sent in spies. And they went into the promised land and they saw that there was great men, giants, right? And it says all the men feared except Joshua and Caleb. And so none of those men got to go into the promised land except Joshua and Caleb. And because Joshua was an upright man and obeyed God, he didn't fear giants. He actually was a giant killer. 
He was a giant slayer. Yeah. Hey, man, he killed tribes of giants. He was a mighty man. It's a mighty name, my friends. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life, right? It doesn't matter even if our parents named us after, the, after Moses, right? Every man has to work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. We got to live up to these names. But the Bible says we have a new name written in heaven Amen. by his grace and mercy. So, Caleb, pleasure to meet you. These are, these are all my brothers right here. I'm going to keep preaching, but if you want to talk to anybody, my brothers will talk to you guys. What's your name, sir? Ivan, pleasure to meet you, Ivan. Amen. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. Good Turn word. Good to word. Jesus and oh, live. Oh, man, love that word. This sir. is the way of God that he made a way through Jesus to reconcile you, to pay for what you've done. Imagine that. A free gift. You don't have to do it. He did it. But what you have to do is you got to give him your life. You got to live for him. And the Bible says if we die with him, then we shall live with him. We bat we go we bat we get baptized into his death. And so as he resurrects, we also become a part of his resurrection. And that's the truth, my friends, that you can resurrect to new life. You can be a new man, no longer the old man, but you can put off the deeds of the flesh. You can put on the Lord Jesus Christ. You can stop doing it through him, not on your own, not without him, but with Christ. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So many times people say that verse and they don't understand the power of it. And that's what I think the Bible says when it says in the last days, people will have a form of godliness, but they will deny the power. See, they will deny the fact that Jesus gave them power over hell and death and sin. The Bible says, oh, death, where is your sting? There's no more victory in hell. It's been killed. It's been defeated at the cross, my friends. And now the devil is running like a little kid, like a little kid when he knows he's got to clean up right at the last minute before mom and dad comes home and he throws all his toys in the closet. See, Jesus knows that all the toys are in the closet and he's going to come open the closet and all your sins are going to fall out and be on display. You must be washed by him. You can't do it on your own because that's what you'll do. You'll come up with some, some last second plan that doesn't save. When the Bible says that, that he is the Lamb of God slain from the foundations of the world. See, God already knew what he would do before he did it. Because he's God and you're not. He's God and you're not. So humble yourself to God. Call upon him. Stop calling upon yourself. Stop calling upon a marijuana cigarette. Stop calling upon a, a bottle or, or, or a girl or, or whatever it is you think is going to get you to the next day. Because my friends, it'll come and go. But it says that the word of the Lord endures forever. That you can call upon him and be saved. Uh, don't be prideful. Don't walk in your pride. Humble yourself to Christ. See, Christ, he died for you. That you could live for him. Uh, what, a, what, a, what an awesome exchange. He's not even saying that, that you got to do anything except believe him. Put your faith in him. Follow him. Uh, but you follow yourself. You follow your lusts. And the Bible says... That if any man loves this world and the things that are in it, the love of God. You want to preach? It's not in him. You okay? Tired? My, my leg. Amen. So we're out here as a warning. Chicken. It's like, it's like a stop sign. I know you're not a chicken. That there's man. traffic going just across the you. road. And you need to stop. Have, uh, you don't just run out in the traffic. So I, because I have these you might get hit. And my friends, my you legs, might get hit. You might not make it home my, tonight. My you, you might not be and guaranteed so another like two years, a year, a month. Yeah. See, all these things, Dude, we walk around okay. thinking God owes us another day. You but know. if God gave us what he I'm owed us, we would all be killed right, right now. We would be thrown into hell. That If he gave us what we were owed, he would give us hellfire. But see, God is merciful. And it says that mercy will triumph over judgment. But see, the judgment, see, when you don't want his mercy, it says that he will be known by the judgments that he executes. And yes, judgment is going to be executed on you. It can be an individual judgment. It can be a neighborhood judgment. It can be a city judgment. It can be a state or a country or a world judgment. See, the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And so he gets to judge. 
And when he makes a judgment, the Bible says he makes alive and he kills. And when God kills, see, he, he's perfectly justified. He's perfectly justified. Yes. But my friends, when you kill, it's murder. It's murder when you kill. And the Bible says that if you judge uh, with unrighteous judgment, if you, if you have anger in your heart, you're committing the sin of murder in your heart. See, we got we to gotta come to the Lord. We got to be willing to admit who we are. And we got to turn to him in childlike, humble faith. Oh, my friends, this world has deceived you. This world has made you think that, oh, if we can just get to Thanksgiving, if we can just get to Christmas, and then after that it's, oh, can we just get to New Year's Eve? And then after that it's like, oh, can we get to Easter? And you, you set your life around all these days. But you might not make it tomorrow. You might not make it to the next day. But turn to Jesus and live. Well, I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm all right. How you doing? Hey, man, so I spoke to the Oh. Yeah, we bad. <laughs> um, I Check, 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 get into it hey, I can preach louder with my voice and I can't with that we can go that route <laughs> I can that's all I preach I come down here I'm usually by myself man I ain't got these uh you know these crutches uh but they they were they're good though man my hand be falling asleep You don't want to hold back the gospel, my friend. I, I, I'm on your guys' team. I told then you, you would probably, you know, if you was, you'd be going like, 
and then just walk away. Because we're proclaiming the, the good news. What is magnified above all things? Nothing comes before God, the Word of God, man. You guys should be like, all right, I, yeah, I went there. I'm a man of respect. Well, God's even respect does not come before God in His Word. You do? Amen. But we can't have a but thing when it comes before God. But I'm talking to you as a man. We talk amongst each other. Yeah. That's all. Okay. I got you. We don't need to tone it down. We we conversate with him. Well, we should. I mean, we can tone it down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 For sure. Let's keep it like that. Respect. Yeah. 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 Well, for me, you know, it's like you know, I respect, but you know, when it comes to the Word of God. Your respect, my respect towards each other, it doesn't, it, God's word is, is magnified over over ourselves. Our pride and our respect, uh, nothing comes before God and his word. Because his word is holy. Amen. I'd hear you preach to the young ones who need, who need the help. Oh, yeah, amen. I hear you on that one. Dude, we... There was some respect in that when we were kids and parents, but hey, it's like they're lost. They're lost today, bro. They're lost today. I'd rather, I'd rather hear that than the rap and the BS and the drama and, you know, these Amen. kids build disrespect, man. Teach them something, learn them something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop, man. Amen, man. Don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop preaching and teaching, man. Amen, brother. Spread Thank it. you. Spread it, man. To I just preach what we got to do, man. To the death of you. Spread the word, man. You know, yeah, I've been doing it for six years, and I, 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 if I don't do it, I, I go to work. Um, I, I, I lost my weekend. You alive and kicking right now, man. Yeah, you yeah. You didn't outlive a lot of people. Oh, I know. I outlived a couple of my siblings. Come on, exactly. I'm the oldest. That's a beautiful thing. I just lost my sister in an overdose. I'm sorry to hear that. And then I had a brother who was killed 20 years ago uh, in a car wreck. And two months ago, they found my sister dead in the shed, so... And you know what's crazy is this, is uh, I told the Lord, I said, I literally told him the day before, I said, Lord, even if you did take one of my family, another family member, I would not fall from you. I didn't know he was going to take my sister the next day. He did. And this is me talking out loud to the Lord, literally, vividly, God, and then the next day he takes my sister. I'm not thinking that it would happen, but I, but I knew in my heart that I would follow him no matter what. Understood. That's, that's, look, that's but I see things before they happen too. Well, I, 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 I bawled like a baby before my brother was killed. Blessings that you're still here to tell about today. Yeah, that's you know? why I'm here, man, it's a blessing. to proclaim it's a blessing. the gospel. It's a blessing. I've been through some things and I can see that. That's why I said, oh, man, 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 I, I, you've been on this earth a lot longer than I have. I mean, I'm 51 and on January 1st. I'll be 51 January 1st. Minus the white hair, man. I'll be 51 in January 1st, bro. I gotta get there. I gotta make it to 51, right? <laughs> right, right. You don't have to make it there. You can just give your life to the Lord, and if He takes, it's a, it's a blessing when God takes His saints. So I'm 39, and I, I made it to the 39. You know what? Some people that didn't. I remember my 39th birthday or my 40th birthday. I was 39 years old, coming off the mountain with a truckload of wood, trying to get to the bar because it was about to turn. You know, January 1st, and I wanted to be there, you know, to have that drink. I was 39, yep. It's a blessing, man. It is. You know what? I, 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 I'm thankful for the things that I went through, the good and the bad, because it opened my eyes. All things good or bad work to the glory of the Lord. That's right. That's right. But we got to see it before we die, that that glory is for us to repent, you know what I mean? Amen. Yeah, and like I said, keep spreading that, man. I'd rather, I'd rather hear that than any all the negativity that's going on in the world. Yeah. You know what's kind of hard, too, is when we preach against sin, a lot of people like to come against us. Yeah, it's like, man, it separates crazy. us from God, you know? But, it, you know, it's like God says to reach into the fire and pull them out, you know? It takes an aggressive preach for me because that's what it took to save me. Well, and then, like I said, man, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't see some uh, good, bad, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, still here. Think about them preachers who come out, patty cake, patty cake, bakers, <laughs> man, Jesus loves me, you know? And then it, here comes this preacher that's like, hellfire, dude. And that's what drew me into the, you know, like, wow, man, this guy is, amen. Keep it 
going to preach in a good way. Amen, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. Until the casket drop, man. <laughs> Until the right. casket drop for those Jesus Christ parts the sky. You know what? We're living in that day where we will see the... You either you're going to be caught up or you're going to see him part the sky. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Man, my fingers are falling asleep. <laughs> I said the ends of my fingers are falling asleep. You want me to hold that? You got a minute? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let that sign hit the ground. I don't care if you go down, you get that sign back up. <laughs> you ever hear, uh, what's his name? Uh, Reuben Israel. Oh, he said that? Oh, yeah. He says whatever. You look like the flag, man. If that thing hits the ground, I don't care what, who it takes, man. You're going to get that sign back up. Yes, now it'll be lower. <laughs> praise Jesus. Worthy of praise. Worthy is the one who died for your sins. The Bible says that he is worthy of all blessing, honor, and power, and glory for all. Amen. Can we give him the glory? The Bible says, let him do glory, glory in the Lord. You got to give the Lord glory. You got you to gotta turn to him, and, and you got to put it in his court. You gotta say, Lord, I can't do it on my own. I need you. See, that's what a humble person does. You know, a lot of people when they know there's there's trouble in their marriage. Amen. I can hear him good from here. Their wife or their, or their husband, they say, I need you. But my friends, you need Jesus more than you need breath. You need Jesus more than you need the blood in your veins. Washed by the uncorruptible one. His, the Bible says that, that we uh, are not born of corruptible, but incorruptible. You're welcome, man. It's yes. good looking beard you got there. Again, we're given the incorruptible seed. We're no longer the same. Beards are very respectable. The works of Amen. You know he loved you. He can set you free. You're free in your sin. I don't think so. I will not want. I don't want the world no more. I don't want the things of it. My friends, I, I, I see the time that we're Hey, bro. What you got in your backpack? Oh, I got. Uh, is that alcohol? Nope. Uh, okay, cool. Amen. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, guys, your life is but a vapor of time, man. Give your life to the Lord. Only God is good. Okay. You know it's a shame for a man to have long hair? Because the Bible says it is. That's why. Okay. It's for a man and, or woman in her covering. Okay. It's for glory. I'll have to think about that. Other than you think about it. Just read the word of God, man. Jesus Submit Christ. to it. Keep up the good world. He says the Amen. world. Does you not too. Hate hey, you, good work is by obeying the gospel. Me. God bless you, young man. Testify that their deeds are evil. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said that the world hates him because he told them the truth. He told them your sin is in between you and me. It's in between you and the holy God. He says, I. I'm trying to reconcile you through the cross. And I die and you live. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. That light came in the world. God is good. And men love darkness rather than the light. Because they're You're far from good. You need the Lord. Those that do evil, when they're doing evil, it says they hate the light. Neither will they come to the light unless their deeds be exposed. And that's why the Bible says. All God bless you, sir. That are made manifest, all things that are exposed are made manifest by light. For whatsoever do manifest is light. Yes, my friends, the Bible says, have no fellowship 
with the unfruitful works of darkness. I apologize. But I rather apologize. You don't have to apologize to me, but you do to him. And it'll apologize us to stop it. Only if you you turn from your sins. True, The Bible says if you love me, you will obey me. He says to go and sin no more. If you're living in sin, the wrath of God is on you. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to give you're gonna have to make a decision whom you're gonna serve. You can't serve the world and both God. You gotta give one up. You gotta give the world up. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. That's James 4 4. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, if you're a friend of the world, you're you're an enemy of God. God does not hear the prayers of sinners, but only those that do the Father's will. That's John chapter 9, verse 31. We're holy. God created us to be holy. And without holiness, no man will see God. And by man, I mean women, mankind. Friendship. Well, if you're, you're a smoker. <laughs> You're destroying the temple. The temple. You're a smoker. I, I don't. I don't. I give up. I give it up. A righteous man judges all things, and yet he is judged by no man. You like your sin. You don't want to give up your sin. God does not hear the prayers of sinners, but only those who do the Father's will. You're a sinner. You're lukewarm. Revelation 3:16. I said you're a sinner. You're a lukewarm Christian. You're a lukewarm Christian. You, that judge. name never that don't never judge, even came dude. out of my don't mouth. Judge. But if you're living in if you're living judge. if you're sleeping outside of marriage, then yes, you are. You're not a true Christian. Oh, yeah, right? A righteous man judges all things, but yet he is judged by no man. Read your Bible. Judge not unless ye be judged for what judgment judges against you. Thou hypocrite. First pull that plank out of your eye so you can see clearly to get the speck out of your neighbor's eye. I pulled that speck out of my eye. God bless you. You're right. I am to judge. I judge with scripture. Look, you're going into a bar. You're a drunkard. No drunkard has any inheritance in God's kingdom. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor homosexuals, nor thieves. I'm not going nowhere. All right, I'm right here. I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay, sinner. What? You're asking my, my people. Oh, well, they're not your people. They're God. God. Everybody belongs to God. This is God's land. Call them, dude. Like, like we haven't had the calls called before. <laughs> You poor pathetic sinner, man. You're a pathetic sinner. Look at you. Indulge in your flesh while you got it, because it's coming to an end. God's going to burn you up one day, sinner. Wow. Wicked sinner. Yeah. How very Christian of you. It is Christian, to tell the truth. Nothing but the truth here. God hates all workers of iniquity. Psalms 5.5. Five. Psalms 7.11. God is angry with the wicked every day. God is love. But God hates all workers of iniquity. With His love comes wrath. If you repent of your sins, your eyes will be open. You're blind. God bless you. For God so loved the world. Really? Time to repent, folks. Time to stop being drunkards and potheads and fornicators and liars. Time to give your life to the Lord. Time's running out. Jesus Christ died on the cross to set you free from your sins, not to set you where you can live in your sin. God commands holiness. Repent or you will perish. Time to give your life to the Lord. Time is running out. God's grace and mercy is in your life today. You've earned your wages in death. The fact that you're still breathing means God has given you a chance. And time is running out, my friends. Time is running out. Come on now. Jesus Christ came down. God came down from heaven, emptied himself of his glory and become a man, Emmanuel. God with us. 2023, after what? The death, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The grave couldn't hold Jesus Christ because he had no sin. No sin. The grave could not hold him. He rose on the third day. It's time to give your life to the Lord. Stop being pathetic drunks and cigarette smokers and potheads. I used to be a bouncer in a bar. I know all about the bar life. I spent my whole adolescent life being a bouncer. It's filthy and disgusting. 
It's time to repent. Stop being filthy. Stop sinning against God. Your body's a temple and it belongs to the Lord, folks. Hellfire's coming. Hellfire's coming. It's time to repent. You think God's playing games? He's not. You want to be a drunkard, pathetic sinner, fornicator? Well, guess what? You're going to be burned up one day. You're going to be burned up. It's time to repent. Hellfire's coming. Hellfire's coming. Judgment day's coming. And let me tell you, a righteous man judges all things right here. Holiness. I practice holiness every day. God says to go and sin. No more friends. So repent. Or you will perish. Hellfire. Judgment day. Judgment day is coming. It's time, folks. I gotta reach into the fire and pull you out. Come on. God says to go trumpet my voice. So who am I gonna listen to? Am I gonna listen to a sinful person that tells me to keep my mouth shut? No, I'm not. I'm gonna obey the gospel. We're gonna call the cops on you. Go call Can you please go move call along? Him. Please go call move along. Go call him. Hey, go we're call him. Over go here. call him. We're go call him. I don't care you about don't your own business. Anything. You're right. You don't own anything. I, you don't own this you public own sidewalk. You're yes, a filthy so sinner. Please, please. I don't listen to Can sinners. You please move I don't along. listen to sinners. Sir, no. Nope. Uh, isn't all the Bible speaking about fucking respect? No, if you read, no, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. God is not respecters of filthy sinners. For God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know, God commands me to proclaim the gospel, and in this country we have the right to proclaim the gospel and raise our voice. I'm going to raise my voice because I love my neighbor. I love my enemies. I love the saints. I'm not going to hold the scripture back because somebody doesn't like the word of God. It's time to wake up, folks. Seek the gospel. Seek the Lord. Go to the light of the gospel because time's running out. Stop being drunkards and potheads. You've been warned, drunkards. You've been warned, sinners. Today is the day of salvation. When you get home tonight, think about the words. Think about the gospel. Think about the fact that your life is but a vapor. And then the judgment. Think about these things and you might get yourself saved. Read the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time to wake up. God bless you, my friend. Or brother. <laughs> I love you, man. Yes, sir. My finger, my fingers were falling asleep. I had to relieve my hands of those signs, man. No, I just thought you wanted it for over there or something. No, I just, um, I noticed they silenced you on the speaker, so it must have given me a final no, warning. He, he, no, I just turned it. I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to preach because I can preach louder. Yeah. Then. I mean, I just pissed all the guys off. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, I don't know what to say other than just keep going up for the gospel, you know? Feel like busting out your speaker? I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna preach with my voice whenever I do preach. Jesus is worthy of your life, folks. Give it to him. God's grace and mercy apply in your life. Give it to him. God is worthy.
Just think about it. Think about what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Think about what God went through. Think about hell and God making that payment. We don't know what God went through, but if you don't repent, you're going to experience the wrath of God. It's time to repent, folks. Time is running out. The Word of God, it judges. But judgment is a good thing. If it's righteous judgment coming from a righteous man who practices righteousness, as the Bible says, he who practices righteousness is righteous. I practice what I preach. I live by what I preach. I don't walk in sin. I don't live in sin. I give it up. Folks, you can do all things through Christ. Do I have a belt? I just have. Wait a minute. I, I hold, hold it. Yeah, here it is. I don't know if that's enough. If it's going to be strong enough. For the grace of God has appeared to all men everywhere, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly and righteously in this present age, looking for that great and glorious day when our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, returns. Look forward to the return of the Lord. You're, if you're obeying the gospel, you're looking forward to God's return. If you're not obeying the gospel, you're in darkness. It's time to care, folks, about your soul. I care about your soul more than most of you. It's time to start caring about your children. Jesus Christ saves. You got to raise your children up to know the Lord because Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus! Come on, folks! Jesus loves you enough that he died for you. Would you die for somebody like Jesus? Would you go to a lake? Would you go to hellfire? No, you won't. But God did it for you. God emptied himself of his glory and died on the cross for you. Without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin, my friends. Almost all things were purged in blood. But without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. We all know about the cross. We all know about Jesus. Give your life to the Lord today. Obey, obey, obey the gospel today, my friends. Time is running out. Seriously, your life is but a vapor and then the judgment. God commands you to repent. Without holiness, you will not see God. Skits for Jesus. Well, then you're going to go to hellfire. Hey, don't die tonight, my friend. We're going to hell. 
Don't, no, this is Sacramento. You're not on fire. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Test, test. Test, test. This is not a test, folks. This is a warning. News flash. <laughs> We're not in hell. This is not hell. You're not on fire. Yeah. You're not on fire. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not hell. This is the closest thing no, 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 no. Satan, Satan is his number one employee, bro. He even, he fucking quit. Yeah, that's your dad. Your dad is the devil. Yeah, because no, God created the devil, bro. Like, why would he create something? Yo, yeah, he, just he created, like he created you, he created all things. Yeah. No, for real, bro. No, for real, bro. See, you read the Bible. I read the fucking Bible, dog. Oh, what good did it do you? We read it every day. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it because... What do you mean? Well, just with your filthy mouth, I can tell you're wicked. You're, you're wicked. You're on your way to hell. You need to repent. You're going to be judged by the words that come out of your mouth. And Jesus said, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks it. You have evil words coming out of your mouth because you have an evil heart. But you need a new heart. You need to circumcise your heart. You need a heart transplant. You're a potty mouth, man. You're a heart of stone. He's not a dog either. He's not a dog. He's not a dog. God says go out and proclaim the gospel of repentance. You know, without repentance, no man will see God. Repent or perish. You know what Jesus said? Repent or perish. You have a problem with that? He says to go and sin no more. Hey, God, it, they're not, they're not going to get no more tattoos. You come in, when you come to the Lord, regardless, I got, I got a tattoo on my arm. I'll step where I want. I wouldn't want to get too close to you. I wouldn't want your filthiness on me, man. Faith cometh by hearing, and the hearing by the word of God, my friend. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10, I live by the word, as so should you. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor drunkards, nor drunkards, nor drunkards, nor drunkards, nor effeminate, nor drunkards, nor homosexuals, no drunkards at that at that green bar, no drunkards will enter the kingdom of God. So if you're getting drunk at that bar, you will not enter the kingdom of God. You're on your way to a lake of fire if you die like that. But Jesus Christ shed blood for you, and it's offered to you. But what are you going to do? Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If... You see that uh, conditional statement, if, if you are willing and obedient, but if you want to reject God and go on in your strong delusion, continue getting drunk, then God will just reject you and send you right to a lake that burns. But God takes no delight in the death of the wicked, but rather the wicked turn from your wicked ways. Yes, you may not have tomorrow to get right with God. You may not have tomorrow to get right with God. If you're not obeying Jesus, if you're living in sin, you're going to make a big splash in hellfire. You need to repent, ye, Amen. therefore, and be converted. Don't be perverted by the wicked ways of this world, but be ye converted to Jesus Christ, that your sins may be blotted out, and times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Jesus Christ said, weeping and wailing, for the worm never dies, yes, your soul never dies, and the fire is never quenched. And that's what's going to happen to you if you die as a sinner. You're going to end up in the lake that burns. You're going to burn forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Newsflash, there is no purgatory. Your family can't pray you out of hellfire. No, you can't give money to a pedophile priest to get you out of hellfire. No, in Luke chapter 16, starting at verse 19, the rich man and Lazarus, when you die, newsflash, you're going to die someday. And if you die as a fil filthy, rotten sinner, you're going to go to a place of torment. Yes, and if you go to that place of torment, you're going to get cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. But if you die as a saint of God, as a born again believer, if you die in Christ as a saint of God, you're going to go to paradise and live and reign with Jesus Christ. Yes, praise the living God. Jews class, we're not all sinners. Uh, yes, we're not all sinners. Everyone says we're all sinners. Just have faith in Jesus. Just believe in Jesus. But we're all sinners. That is a lie from the pit of hell. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're born in sin. So you, you say we're born in sin as an excuse for you to nope. live like a child of the devil. There's innocence. No, not There's not innocent right God, there. But you have sought out many invention. Yes. You have you were born an innocent little baby. And then you had temptations and you can't control your your uh, influences in your life. And you but gave at some in. Point you gave in to that temptation and you became a filthy, rotten sinner. That's what the Bible says. That all have sinned, ED. We all have sinned in the past and come short of the glory of God. And in the context, the Apostle Paul is saying there's no difference between a Jew, a Gentile, a black man, an Asian, white, Latino, Hispanic, a Polish man, a, a white man, or a Mexican, an Irish, or, or an Aryan guy, or, or even a Guamanian woman. It doesn't matter because we all have you? sin and come short. And he's saying that that's why we need the grace Amen. and the mercy and the forgiveness of God because we all have sinned in the past and come short. That's why we need Jesus Christ. Yes. You repent of your sin. Yes, Lord. And Jesus said he must be born again. Don't hold the truth back. Now, what does it mean to be born again? Well, Jesus Christ said that which is born of flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not, ye must be born again. And then Nicodemus said, how can I go into my mother's womb again? He said, no, you must be born again of the Spirit. And being born again of the Spirit comes to a humble repentance of faith. You must confess your sin. Confess it and forsake your sin. And the Bible says that this is the message which we have heard from Him. And declare unto you that God is light. And in Him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with Jesus Christ, but walk in darkness... If you walk in sin, you lie and do not the truth. But if you walk in the light as Jesus is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. But if you say you have no sin, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. If you're a drunkard, a liar, a fornicator, you have filthy language coming out of your mouth and you say you have no sin, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. But there's good news. Confess your sin and God is faithful and just. God bless you, sir. forgive you of your sin and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. How are you doing, young lady? Yeah, it's kind of windy. I'm trying to hold it, but yeah, go for it. Uh, no, BYOM. Bring your own microphone. Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for your sin. But Jesus Christ didn't die for your sins so you can continue being a filthy, wretched sinner. No, John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And Jesus Christ said, If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. But trust and repent, Jesus. That's love. Yes, yeah, it's repent. all loving. Repent is to turn from your sins. Yes, repent stop is to it. turn from your sin. And trust is a... It means to obey. Obey. Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do but not you know do what? the thing that I say? God gave us the best gift, free will. Yes, and you You're can right. use your free will wrongly and mm. reject Jesus and end yep. up in hell fire. Yeah, the Bible says yes, don't, don't... That's a foolish thing to do, my friend. Yep. Yeah, so use your free will correctly. Open up a Bible. Read it. Take heed and obey it. The Bible says, Why do you love in word and tongue, but not in deed and in truth? He will say, God is love. Yes, God is love. God showed his love to send his son Jesus to die for you. And this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. commandments. And his commandments are not yeah, grievous. Yes, so do you have the love of God? Are you obeying Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. So are you keeping his commandments? Here, I'll tell you what some of Jesus' commandments are. Yes, store up for yourself treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust do dis uh, corrupt and where thieves do break in and steal because where your treasures are, that's where your heart will be also. So where is your heart? Are you storing up treasures on earth? Are you trying to have all the fancy name brand clothes? Are you trying to look like a whore or a whoremonger on your social media? Are you trying to go to the fancy places and, and show it on your social media page? Are you trying to get the best car? Are you trying to put rims on your car? Are you trying to lower your car? I don't even know what you do to your car. Put, put music in your car to make it sound really loud? Are you trying to buy the most expensive, best house? 
for this Are you trying to have the day. best job? Yes. Uh, so store you up for yourself treasures in heaven, not on earth. Are you trying to word, store up Father, a lot of money? Yes. Your silver and gold will not profit you on the day of wrath. Yes, so store up for yourself treasures in heaven. Take your mind, friends. Do not destroy and where thieves do not break into steal. Because guess what? Somebody can steal your car. Somebody can rob you and take your money. You can have fraud done on you, yes. Store up for yourself treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal because where your treasures are, that's where your heart will be also. And another commandment of Jesus, say, what will it profit you to gain the whole world but then lose your soul in the end? And let's face it, none of you are gonna get a half a percent of the world, neither am I, yes. But the most important part is the next verse. What will you give in exchange for your soul? Now, what are you guys giving in exchange for your soul? Are you giving sex outside of marriage for your soul? Are you giving getting drunk for your soul? Getting high for your soul? Being greedy for your soul? Not obeying the gospel for your soul? The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, those who trouble you rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on all them who know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who shall be punished with everlasting destruction by the presence of the Lord and by the glory of his power so if you're not obeying Jesus if you're not obeying the gospel yes you're gonna get everlasting destruction you're gonna get hellfire it doesn't matter if you go to a building on Sundays doesn't matter if you get dipped in water it doesn't matter if you say you believe in God with your lips. It does not matter. We're saved by grace through faith. And the grace of God teaches you to go and sin no more. Jesus Christ said, go and sin no more. Let the worst thing come upon you. What's the worst thing that could come upon you? Hellfire. Is taking your last breath and ending up in hell fire where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. There's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yes, the smoke of your torment will rise up forever and ever and ever. Don't die as a sinner. Warning. Turn to the living God. Warning. Love <laughs> warns. I'm here to warn the wicked that you would turn from your wicked way. I'm not dismayed at your faces. I got a forehead harder than adamant flint. Praise the living God. <laughs> There's a lot of people that say they believe in Jesus with their lips. And the prophet Ezekiel said, Ezekiel 33, these people come as my people. These people sit as my people. They hear your words, but they do not do them. Yes, you speak love, but your heart is full of covetousness. Yes, you say, where's the love? God is love, but your heart is full of covetousness. Your heart is full of idolatry. Your heart is full of wickedness. Your heart is full of deceit. Your heart is full of drunkenness. Your heart is hardened and it's cracked full of the need to repent and turn to the God. Yes, you are having sex outside of marriage, you're wicked. You have your father of the devil. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3 that he who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil in your life. Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus Christ came. Jesus Christ said, uh, Revelation chapter 22, uh, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give to every man according to his work shall be I'm the Alpha and the Omega blessed is he that does his commandments for they may have right to the tree of life and enter into the gates of the city but outside are the whores the whoremongers the sexually immoral the sorcerers the liars the drunkards yes God is gonna spill you right out of his mouth right into hellfire that's what yes, you are that's what, that's what you have devils young lady the devils come out crying the devils come out screaming yes you have a demon young lady but you could be set free from that in the name of Jesus Christ yes you're the mockers and scoffers will come in the last days you're a woman to their own ungodly lust you're a woman scoffers yes butch woman concerning his promise yes your homosexuality is an abomination into the holy god yes for a man to dress like a woman it's abomination for a man to dress up as a woman it's abomination yes what about that woman? And for a man to lay with mankind is abomination as well praise the lord praise jesus christ the bible says in romans chapter one that even their women god gave them up to vile affection 
even their women, did exchange the natural use for that which is against nature. And even likewise the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men, doing that which is unseemly, and receiving the recompense of their heir which was me. So God condemns homosexuality, women with women, and men with men. Don't kill the messenger. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to show the condemnation that is already upon you. Yes, the wrath of God abides on the children of disobedience. You want to go on in your strong delusion? You don't want to obey the one true living God, the creator, which God has created all things by him, for him, and through him. Then the wrath of God abides on you. If you're not obeying Jesus, if you're a sinner, then the wrath of God abides on you. Yes, I just come out here to warn the wicked. Yes, my name is Saint Sean. My name is, is Peculiar People. My name is Holy, Royal Priesthood, Dearly Beloved. Yes, God does not call me a sinner. I'm a born again saint. Yes, we're not all sinners. The one that God calls sinners are the sinners. The liars, the You're thieves, the, the whoremongers, the whores, the, the immodestly dressed women, the drunkards, the porn watchers, the cigarette suckers, yes, the weed smokers, the ones that being high on pills of meth and heroin, those are sinners. Those are sinners and those are the ones that are on their lake that burns with fire and brimstone if you die in that state. But guess what? I'm not here to call the righteous, but the sinner to repentance. So if you're a sinner, repent of your wickedness, turn from your ungodly ways, and turn to Jesus Christ. Amen. And have power to save your soul from sin, death, hell, and condemnation. The, there's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, and that's Jesus Christ. Yes, your life is just like that vapor smoke. Here today, gone tomorrow, and your the smoke of your torment will rise up forever, just like that vapor smoke. Your lungs are made for oxygen. They're not made for smoke. Yes, Jesus Christ. He has a fan in his hand. And he's ready to thoroughly purge his floor. He's going to gather his wheat. Yes, his born again saints of God. The wheat. Not the tares. But his wheat he will gather in the garner. And the unfruitful chaff. Yeah, the ungodly and the sinner. The unfruitful chaff. Is going to get burned up with fire unquenchable. Yes. Yes, the righteous, the righteous shall shine forth in the kingdom as the sun. He who hath an ear to hear, let him hear. The Bible says, Now therefore there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the Mosaic law could not do, and that it was weak in the flesh, God sending his own son in likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us. The righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes, he, he that is of the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But of the Spirit, those of the Spirit do mind the things of the Spirit. For the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it's not even subject to the law of God. Yes, turn to Jesus Christ. Those, the carnal mind is at enmity with God, extreme hatred with God. Do not be of this world. Do not have a carnal mind. Do not have a wicked, perverted mind. You're an enemy of God. Yes. Do not be of this wicked world. If any man love this wicked world, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Yes, you going on your social media, look at me. Oh, look at me, look at my pictures. Oh, look at my car, I gotta shine it up every day and put my rims on there. Oh, I gotta look so cool with all the fancy clothing. That's a lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, thinking you're too good for the Lord Jesus Christ. The proud in heart and abomination unto the Lord, the Bible says.
Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is King. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. Time's running out. Is that your wife? No, not yet. Don't be fornicating. No fornicator has any inheritance in God's kingdom. Speak on that microphone, and we're gonna go to see. We're gonna go to see. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy, so. All right. Say, me, me. One of y'all. Okay, preach on that for a minute, so that you can. Do I do one? Is it on? Just. just Hello. Yeah. Babe. Hit the, hit the switch. On the microphone. Oh. Just push it up. Jesus Christ is Lord, King of Kings. Uh, today's the day of salvation, folks. Um, just give your life to the Lord. I mean, it's like a free, a free will choice that you have uh, today. Um, literally, you got a choice today to choose whom you're going to serve. Um, you know, uh, Jesus Christ, man, He is worthy of your life. I mean, you think about the things that Jesus Christ went through. Uh, you read your Bible in the, in the garden where Jesus talks about uh, the, the uh, blood was coming from His, his pores. Uh, that because of the fear and the temp uh, of, of knowing what what he was going to go through uh, before he went to the cross and he was alone they left him alone and he was praying to the father but father if this cup may pass um, from me but you know what Jesus said because Jesus had a, a, a will to make the decision on what he was going to do and God said it's not my will but the father's will let the father's will be done and Jesus Christ went to the cross he didn't even lift his voice up he just went to the cross like a lamb to the slaughter you know and what do you think you think God's not worthy of your life you don't think that um, giving up your sin for the Lord Jesus Christ is it that he didn't make that payment for you so that you would uh, uh, turn your life to him I mean God give his life he shed his blood for you God is holy and righteous and he wants you to be holy and righteous you are created in the image of God and you're created for God's glory so glorify God my friends while you still have the breath of life for for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life friends we want you to have everlasting life we want you to be holy we want you to be perfect in Christ we want you to be obedient to the Word of God because God's Word is magnified above all things nothing comes before the Word of God my friends the word is holy. It's the light of the world, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And free will has sent us away from God. And we need to come back to God. And how do you come back to God? You read his word. You submit to his word and you give your life to the word of God. Jesus Christ is the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. Dwell upon the Lord today, my friends, and open your word. Go ahead. Open the Word of God today, my friends. It's the Bible. You don't have an excuse. The Word of God is on your phone if you download it. You can go to any Walmart and buy a King James Bible. You have no excuse. Live your life for the Lord because you are created in the image of God and you are created for God's glory, my friends. Glorify God before time runs out. God gives good things if you give your life to Him. But if you're not willing to give your life to the Lord, my friends, if you're not willing to obey the gospel, you are in darkness. And the light cannot set you free if you're not willing to give up the darkness. Obey, my friends. Obey the gospel today. For the grace of God is in your life today. God's grace and mercy apply in your life today. Stop being drunkards. Stop being potheads. Stop being fornicators and homosexuals and thieves and liars. Draw nigh to God today, my friends. Resist the devil and the Bible says that he will flee from you. Rebuke the devil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and he will flee. Obey the gospel and Jesus Christ the Father will hear your prayers. Draw nigh to God today, my friends. Seek and you shall find Him.
God is holy. And without holiness, no man will see God. Is that thing even on? <laughs> I can't tell. My voice is going over the... Anyways. Uh, we're just thankful that uh, we're still allowed to come out and preach the gospel. But there's coming a day when they're not going to allow us to preach the good news. Why? It's because the devil is going to start taking a bigger foothold today. And tomorrow is going to get even worse. You know, uh, God's given this world up to their sins, but God is also pouring out His Spirit today. Some of you are being saved today, and you'll be saved because why? It's because some preacher came out and proclaimed the gospel. The Bible says that God's Word does not return void. Don't let the, the gospel be void in your life today, folks. All things, good or bad, work to the glory of the Lord. Don't let it lead to hell for you. Let it lead to salvation. Open the Word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God alone. There's no other faith other than what is found in the Scripture. Faith is comes when you are obedient. You submit to the Gospel. That's true faith. Faith without works is dead, my friends. Faith without works is dead. You got to do works meant for repentance. God does call us to a certain kind of work. Repent or you will perish, the Bible says. Go and sin no more. The laborers are few, my friends. The laborers are few. But God talks about a harvest because of the labor. And the harvest will be plentiful. Is that you? God says to let the wheat and the, and the tares grow together. There's coming a day when God's going to uproot the wheat and the tares. And He's going to burn the tares up. He's going to throw you into a fire and burn you up. If you're not obeying the gospel, you are a terror. If you're a lukewarm Christian, you are a terror. You're going to be burned up. In Revelation 3.16, the Bible says if you're lukewarm, God's going to chew you up and spit you out of His mouth. Don't be lukewarm, my friends, you lukewarm Christians. Stop being lukewarm Christians. Get on fire for the Lord. Start obeying the gospel. Time is running out. Right to the point. It's easy to understand. Your conscience bears witness to the laws of God and to what is coming out of my mouth. I'm making it simple. It's so simple a child understands these things. We must be as a little child, the Bible says. They're innocent. They understand God's word. They don't know sin like we do. You got to become as a little child, the Bible says. I love the little children of the world, just like God loves the little children of the world. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I got to tone my voice down a little bit. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Brother Sean, seek the Lord while He may be found. <laughs> Call ye upon Him. Call ye upon Him. Amen. <laughs> hey, man, you guys are you're doing a. Hey, carry on with your. Work by the sweat of your brow all the days of your life, my friends, because of sin. Anyways. Hey man, they didn't rent us a ticket. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Man. Yeah. I mean, could you hear the speaker or my voice over the speaker? You can hear the, uh, I think your voice because might be louder, but this this does travel. When it, when it was low like that, I could hear it right there pretty okay, good. good, good, good. But good. the only time I couldn't hear it was when cars drove by and I said, yeah, well, yeah. come over that. That ambient noise. Yeah, yeah. Yes. There's silver in your gold. What did you say? 
Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But to fear the Lord is to is to obey Him. The first time I got down on my knees was five days ago, and you know what? I've been blessed. Okay? Well, hopefully, I've had people come in and left and right, but you know what? The only it brought back everything else. You know what? I know He's going to come at me because I felt like I was spiritual warfare. And you know what? Oh, a big warfare. Me in here and I'm going to sit down and listen. Amen. My name is Tony now. Michael. Please keep me in your prayers. I used to, I don't believe writers would all in, but I am seriously in that. Seriously. Amen. You know, I'm not going to go over here for that. I'm going to be forever in church for a life. I'm going to be called the chapter. Amen. 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 Sit down and listen. Yes, Thank you. She came to listen. Night. We come to ruin your night. We come to ruin your drunken stupor. Yes, wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whoever does those things is not wise. You're not wise. You're not wise. You're not wise. No drunkard will enter into God's kingdom. Yes, it's better to hear the rebuke of the wise than the song of blue. I know. I can hear my voice over the speaker. They they turned it down. They turned it down and then I took it back up. Like just a little bit. Check, check, check. Let me go over there. That's super low. Check, 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 check. Yep. <laughs> oh, man, come on. We do it because we love you, man. We want you to be safe. Honest. I don't know why you don't understand it, man. But are the wounds of a friend, but yes. the are the kisses of an enemy. Yep, there's your enemy. You're an enemy of yourself, and he's an enemy yeah. of you, because you don't treat each other righteousness. Yeah, I used to do what you. I used to do the what you do. I used to be the the doorman at a bar. A lot more happening in this place. If you want to come down to it. Yeah. Watch out, you're cold. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, my friends, walk. Bonk. <laughs> God bless you. It's a good place to stand. This guy gave me some prayers earlier. You know what? You raise your voice, you sound angry, but damn, I'm just trying to chunk up my voice, man. Don't, I'm not trying to be angry or nothing, but if I am angry, uh, the Bible says to sin not. Be angry and sin not, you know what I mean? So righteous and good nation. Um, I, you're welcome. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. Hey, young lady. Ma'am, can I give you another, a different one? This one. And here, read, read this one too. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I think uh, these ones here I haven't read. I haven't read any of these yet, but I, I would say these kind of probably pertain to the LGBTQ. Uh, maybe they're for more like lukewarm. Okay, I thought that's what these ones were for. Are lukewarm. These are too. Okay. 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 Um, so these are Kerrigan Skelly. Oh yeah, I love yeah. Kerrigan, man. He's got some good stuff out there. Yeah. I know it's a light one only, but. 
first like got my shit to Are you getting it? Friday Saturday. So I'm going to make a proposition with them. I'm going to tell you all that. I said, each one of you take one of these, these gospel tracks. Um, I'll go across the street. I won't raise my voice here. No, no, no. I got the Sunday clothes. I actually, if I close the open, I'm going to raise my voice. You're going to talk to me? You actually have to raise Yeah. Hey, bro. I'll tell you what. I won't raise my voice here. Okay. Uh, if you take one of the, no, nah, that's not only because, okay. only if you accept this. Okay. And you, and you at least read it, you know, it only just get a little bit of time. You know I'm Catholic, right? Well, you know, Catholics. I'm confirmed. It, well, I'm actually confirmed what, Catholic. What about Jesus? I mean, they believe in Jesus too. Yeah, but they, what do they, they're, they're, what, what do, they do? Uh, let's hear about Hail it. Hail Mary's. Okay. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to do that. Okay. There's no such thing as purgatory. Okay. Jesus, Mary is not the mediator. Okay. You're not to pray to dead saints. Okay. Mary is dead. She's not a virgin anymore. Okay. Jesus Christ isn't on the cross anymore. Okay. You must become born again. Catholics aren't born again. You're not, you don't baptize yeah, no. babies. You get baptized in the name okay. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. It's, a, it's when you give your life to the Lord, you go and make... That's Same when you go choice. get baptized. So, what... How do you explain all these crazy men, like woman beaters and all that, that are all Christian? Um, they're not Christian. I'm yeah. a Christian. I would never do that. Okay. Well, I know a lot of them. Like, oh. Well, that's because they're know, of their no father, the devil. They're, they're sinners. They're lukewarm. Yeah. Lukewarm Christians. Yeah. Revelation 3.16. Yeah. If you're lukewarm, God's going to chew you up and spit out of your mouth. But I know what you're saying. They're not being punished. They're going to be. Oh, okay. All it takes is the breath of life to end, and it's over. Yeah. That's where punishment begins. I agree. I'm in total repentance, man. And this right here is when we're going to God. Uh, God. Yeah. I mean, it's also free will. Yeah, right. God also wrote and God, free will. And God, God says, don't God let your free will, free will to, don't sin against God with your but free will. He also will. wrote in free will. So if you want to use your free will to sin the, against God. you created in my image? What about that whole thing? You're created so in God's image. That's exactly. why when you're living like this, you're going to be separated so from wait, him. If, he's, if he, we're all in his image. Then. You're not in his image oh, when you live in sin. Fuck, dude. So you're getting real gray lines here. No, you're walking the gray line. That's the problem. I, I'm fine with it. I know you are. I'm fine with it. But you're going to be separated gonna, from God. That's, that's you're going to okay wish you changed. That's, it's I'm, not I'm okay, man. Wish every day. I'm going to wish not, every day. Every day. Every day. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Because I'm a victim. No, you're a victim. No, you're a sinner. You're not willing to repent. I know. You know, you know. You'll have no excuse on the day of judgment. He's definitely on his way to hell. <laughs> he took the track, man. I'll tell this between you and me, but I, I believe the Lord is going to do something. He's going to shake it. He's going to have the option for help. He's going to truly have the fear of the Lord in him. And if he's going to respond, he's going to be Amen. You have a good night, my friend. Something's going to happen. Please, Lord. <laughs> Sounds like burn oil to me and no burn marks. <laughs> He's burning motor oil, man. Oh. What happened? I said the guy just burning motor oil. He didn't burn all the tires. Man. It sounded I loud. I could smell the bur I could smell the oil. It, it sounded loud. It, or it sounded fast. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I started smelling it. He was trying to do a donut in a front wheel drive car. <laughs> I've seen them old cars like that at the, um, what was it, uh, Sears Point Race, or somewhere, and I mean, I, I never seen a thing do like a quarter mile, and it was like, boom, gone. <laughs>
Yeah. An yeah. old, like one of them. Literally, it was I, one I of them. I used to drive those Rice Rockets. Yeah, I used yeah. To have a, 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 a Honda Civic hatchback. Yeah. And I used to have a Integra. I think that's probably what it was a Honda Civic hatchback, man. Just like an 80, 89, or an 80s model or something, dude. I had a 93 hatchback. Yeah, 93 hatchback. Those, they're, they're really we'll light. That's why they're light. I'll talk to you again. Amen. Amen. Well, just because I love you, I'm going to tell you something. Quit smoking. Your body's a temple and it belongs to the Lord. And he who destroys the temple, God will destroy. I know. Okay, good. As long as you know, now it's time to give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it is not scary for a reason. 